Hey guys, it's Bears Fan 6 here, and today we have for you um, the next tutorial in the Vortex series. Uh, this one, Dweller in the Darkness. Uh, this one took me by surprise because I never completed it, which is kind of funny. Um, so, uh, as usual, the higher level you go up, the easier it is to capture Obro. Uh, I did capture him on level 2 back in the day, um, but uh, yeah, level 3 is your best capture rate chance. I don't really have a good mono light team, so we're just going to bring um, a mono fire team. So I'll show you guys, you can bring a different element here. Um, so, same thing, I would recommend ores and seals, revive, high cures, divine light. And uh, this time we're going to bring a healer with us, and two starter leaders to boost attack and HP. Um, cool thing is, any player can get one of these starters, which is one of the best things about this game. Um, so if you don't have one yet, keep trying that honor summons and eventually you'll get one. Um, so bad news for this trash mob coming in is they are earth and they are going to be toast. <laughs> so as usual, there's going to be random trash mobs, uh, up until battle number four when they'll be the mini boss. Potentially we could fight, um, Magris and capture Magris. So we just got to wait and see. I'll be back at the mini boss. Alright, so here's battle number four, Mimides. Um Just to let you know, you can only fight the mini boss um, guy that you can capture, which in this case is Magris. You can only fight him on level three. You will never fight him on level one and two. Um, just to let you know that, so um, the only way you can potentially catch a different fighter from this battle number four is only on level three. Um, so here we have Mimides. Um He won't be too difficult. He is somewhat annoying. Um, he can do some status ailments on you. Um, if you bring twins, they would obviously negate that. But for the most part, we're going to drop him here pretty quick. And then move on to the final fight. Ah, oh, one more turn. Dang. So close. Oh, almost got supers. There it is. So he cursed. He cursed us. Alright, we'll be back when we get to Shadow Obro. Be right back. And then the mini boss is a bunch of Medusas who, uh, they drive me crazy if you already know. They do AoEs and Curse, so uh, watch out for them. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, these these Medusas, I hate them with the passion of a thousand suns. Especially her, Sahak. I hate you. Stupid snakes. Get your snakes out of here. Alright, another turn probably. Yeah, another turn. Dement. Lots of AoE damage here, jeez. The only downside to bringing a light team here is you would suffer some significant boost in damage um, from the dark units here, which would hurt a little bit. But um, you would do also more damage as well, so it's a slight trade off. Which, in my opinion, you can counteract with seals, so... It's not a bad trade-off, in my opinion. Alright, so here we are at the final boss fight. So, um, with Shadow himself. Alright, so he will curse, so he'll lock out your uh, Brave Burst. Uh, he will do single target and AoE targets. Um, so he will do those. Alright, so... As usual, just gonna unleash all the Brave Burst. Uh, normally I would save this one, but because he could potentially lock them out, I'm just gonna use it. I'm just gonna use them all. Normally you wanna save your three turn healing till like the second turn, but we're just gonna go ahead and use it all. Did not do as much damage as I thought. Alright. So, looks like he also heals himself a tiny bit. I mean, that's a minuscule amount. It's really not going to matter. I mean, that's like one little hit with some fighters, so... His 300 HP healing, no big thing, in my opinion. Here's the all move. So, he cursed during the all move as well. This is probably the best fight video so far. The other ones, I dropped them all in like two or three turns, I think. This one, you guys are getting to see a little bit more, which I'm happy about. Alright. He just doesn't want to go down. 
He's like, I'm not going down. Ooh, there was a good one. Oh, we held for 4,000 there. All right. We'll unleash the Phoenix again. Our, um... Our seals and oars wore off, which is fine. You can reuse them if you would need to. Um, there's no reason not to. Um, and uh, he's dead. Hopefully we capture here. It'd be awesome. Awesome. Oh, not awesome. Anyways, if you keep trying, there's a good chance you'll catch him on level 3. Um, that's the easiest spot to do it. Doesn't take too long, typically. Alright, Dwell in the Darkness. Nice amount of Zell. A little bit of Karma. 3,500 XP I'll take. Um, Item-wise, not really anything useful for me. Some junk there. Cool thing is, this first mission clear bonus, one gem. Heck yeah. It's amazing. Alright guys, that is it for this one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and share if you want to see more. Later.